Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another gadget that I think you'll find really helpful. It's a USB-C hub from our good friends over at O-Ray that allows you to instantly increase the number of connections you can make to your laptop or even your home computer by simply plugging the single USB-C connection into any available port. Now, as part of this overview, I always like to start with a brief unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll explain what the hub does and how I use it, and I'll take a closer look at the hub and point out all the connections you can make to fully utilize that single USB-C port. And then finally, I'll come back and point out a few key differences between this O-Ray hub and others on the market because I feel like the team at O-Ray has built in a lot of advanced features to this particular hub that really separate it from the competition. So let's get started with the unboxing. <laughs> There's not a lot in the box, so when you pop open the box, you'll find the hub, and you'll find a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, warranty information, and other details you'll need to understand how to use this with your own computer. Now, you might be wondering, what's a hub all about? Why would I want one of these? Well, if you follow the development of laptops over the last couple of years, manufacturers have consistently tried to make laptops smaller, thinner, lighter, and more portable. And this is a good example of that. And the challenge with that is, by making laptops so thin, they've really minimized the amount of real estate around the outside where they can actually add ports and the technology that supports those ports. So if you look back to three or four years ago, laptops were a lot thicker, they were a lot heavier, they weren't as portable, but they had a ton of ports on the exterior. So you could connect up maybe two USB-A devices, there might be a USB-C port, a lot of them had card readers built in, they had HDMI connections for external monitors. The challenge is when you look at a laptop like this that's so thin, it's really limiting as far as how many connections I can make to the outside. So in my particular case, I've got two USB-C ports over here and a USB-A port over here. So it's not a lot of connections that allow me to hook up things externally. And that's a challenge for me because I use this laptop when I'm teleconferencing on Zoom or Skype or whatever, and I've got to connect up a mouse, a keyboard, a camera. Maybe I want to connect up a card reader, uh, power supply. All those things have to be plugged into those three different ports. And the bigger challenge is one of the USB-C ports on this side is used for powering the laptop. So that eliminates that port right out of the gate. So what a hub does is allow me to use one of those USB-C ports and expand and the things I can connect to it. So instead of having a single USB-A connection, the minute I plug this into that USB-C port, I now have two additional USB-A connections, which allow me to connect any type of external device that's a little bit older that is a USB-A connection. I also have an HDMI connection on here, which allows me to connect an external monitor because even though the monitor on this is really good and it's probably okay for when I'm out in the field, when I'm working on my desk in a long afternoon, I like to have a bigger monitor. So there's no way to directly connect a monitor to the laptop without using a hub like this. And the third thing, which makes this incredibly beneficial, is the fact that when I plug it into one of the USB-C ports, I'm now taking up that port, so how do I charge my laptop? Well, you'll also find a USB-C connection on here, which is a PD connection, and it allows me to connect up to a 100-watt external power supply to this strip and actually power my laptop through the hub, as well as power the two USB-A ports on there. So they've built in a lot of additional functionality to really let me take advantage of a single port and expand it to a lot of external connection possibilities. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like a little closer in a second and explain some of the benefit of the ports, and then I'll come back and actually talk about how this is different than a lot of other hubs on the market that may look similar, but they're probably going to be lacking some of the features that I'll get into. So stay tuned for the closer look next. The O-Ray USB-C2 HDMI USB-C hub features a full metal enclosure that's aluminum, which really reduces outside interference from causing any issues. It makes it really durable. I like the rounded edges too because it slides into a bag really easily. There's a short heavy duty cable that ends in a USB-C connection. Again, this is a heavy duty connection, really good strain relief there. It's just long enough to connect to your laptop and give you a little bit of flexibility so you can plug in your external devices. Now on the front of the unit, you'll find a full size HDMI port here. That supports 4K video at up to 60 frames a second. You'll also find two full-size USB-A connections right there. Both of these are USB 3.0, which means they're the latest USB standard, which gives you the fastest connection between the USB port and the external device. It'll transfer data at five gigabits a second for both of these ports. The unit also provides external power to both of these ports at five volts at about two amps, which means you'll have plenty of power for external hard drives or if you're charging a phone or something that requires external power. You'll also find a full-size USB-C port right here, and that's used for external connection of a power supply. It'll support up to 100 watts of PD power through the hub 
to the laptop that'll actually charge your laptop and provide a power to these external devices that are connected here. So overall, it's a nice compact design and all the technology inside here is designed to support these ports and take the workload off your laptop for making these connections. Now that you've gotten a closer look at the hub and you've seen all the connections you can make to it, I'll show you how I use this hub with my own laptop. Now this is the laptop I take out in the field with me all the time, and the display on this is just about 14 inches, which I think is the perfect balance between screen real estate and portability. I know a lot of people like bigger displays, but then you've got to carry a heavier laptop with you. So this serves me perfectly when I'm out in the field. I can respond to emails, I can edit video footage, but when I come home and I'm spending more time in front of the laptop, I like to have a larger screen. I've got a 32 inch on the desk, and there's no way for me to natively connect that up to this laptop without using a hub. So the first thing I do when I get home is plug in the hub. This is a USB-C connection. I'll plug that into one of the USB-C ports on the side. Did you hear that noise there? That was an indication that the computer actually saw the hub connected. One benefit of this hub is unlike a lot of other models on the market, there's no drivers required. So the minute you plug it in, it's plug and play compatible with the operating system. So when I plug it in, all the ports become active. There's no confusing drivers to install or any of that nonsense. It's also Thunderbolt 3 compatible. So if you're running an Apple product, plug it in, you're good to go. Now, once I plug that in, I've got a desktop monitor set up with an HDMI cable on it. I'm going to use this one as an example. I just simply plug the HDMI connector into the HDMI port on it. It takes a couple of seconds because what's happening is the hub itself is sort of figuring out the resolution of the monitor versus the resolution of the laptop, and it's making the adjustments to give you the perfect picture. And now I'm actually mirroring the screens between the two, so this can be a really large monitor. And again, 4K 60 frames a second means I'm going to get high resolution uh, video over here, and, and I'm going to see my screen in perfect resolution. Now, in addition to that, I've got two USB-A connections on here, both of which are powered. So when I come home for the day, I like to use an external keyboard and a mouse and some other things. Just to show you that they're powered, I've got two small USB lights right here. Let me plug those in and show you that they light up. So you can see that I've got five volts going to those two ports. And here's the second one. And you'll notice for a second that the display blinks out because when I plug those in, the hub itself has to recognize that there are other external devices plugged in. So it's going to readjust for a couple of seconds. But anyway, both of these are lit up. You can see that I've got five volts to both those ports. Now, what I typically use those for are things like a keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to use a wireless connector here. I'll plug that into one of the USB-A ports. Did you hear that? That's the computer recognizing the fact that I plugged it in. And then immediately I've got a keyboard and a mouse that I can use to do whatever I need to do. So what I'm essentially doing is turning my laptop really into a home computer because it's just that powerful by connecting all these external devices. Now, in addition to that, because those ports are powered, I can even charge my phone or other devices. So if I've come home and I've got a action camera with me that I'm transferring uh, content off of, I can actually charge that action camera from this available USB-A port. I'll just use my phone for that but you can see right away it starts up. So that one hub immediately gives me power to charge external devices, power to use like external hard drives if I want to. It also gives me a data connection so that if I want to connect my phone up to my computer, I can actually transfer data through there. So it really is a pretty versatile product. The thing I like a lot about it as well is the fact that it's got pass through for power because I'm lucky that this laptop actually has two USB-C connections on the side, which means I can use one for power to charge my laptop and operate it. But if I only had one on there, which a lot of the laptops have nowadays, I would have to choose between using the hub or using external power. The fact that this has got a USB-C PD port right here means I can disconnect this, plug it in here, and provide power to both the computer and the external ports and still free up that second USB port, which is pretty incredible. So right now it's going through the readjustments because I've added power to it. But once it settles down, I'm ready to go. So I can put the laptop off to the side, look at my large monitor on my desktop and treat it just like a home computer. And it really is just that simple. And for me, the best part about it is I don't have to worry about drivers because boy, if you've ever installed some of those third party hubs, you've got to find the right drivers. You've got incompatibility issues with the operating system and it's a headache. This this one being plug and play compatible means you just plug it in, you can start using it, and it's just that simple. Okay, I hope the closer look in that demo was helpful. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind if you're in the market for a hub like this. For starters, a lot of the hubs plug directly into the USB-C connection on the side of your laptop, and that may seem like a convenience, but the challenge is you've got a big box now hanging off that really fragile USB-C port. So I like the fact that they built in a nice short cable that's a heavy-duty cable that can handle 100 watts of power supply connections, and they've got a really nice strain relief on the end of it. Some of the hubs out there have really long cables. You don't really need a long cable. You want it close enough to your laptop 
laptop. We've got some flexibility, but it still is close enough where you can connect up all your peripherals. So I think they've done a good job with keeping that cable short and building in a heavy duty cable. As far as the HDMI connection goes on this, a lot of these hubs have an external monitor connection that's HDMI like this. What you want to look for there is the O-Ray hub will actually support 4K at 60 frames a second. And that's really important because if the laptop can display high definition content, you want to make sure you get it in the highest resolution possible to your monitor. So being able to support 4K at 60 frames a second means you're not going to have to upgrade the hub if you buy a newer laptop down the road. As far as the two USB-A connections go, I love that they built two of them in there. Both of these are USB-A 3.0, which means they're going to be as fast as possible for a USB-A connection. They'll transfer data at 5 gigabits a second, which means you're going to actually be able to connect up external solid-state drives and external thumb drives and get incredibly fast data transfer between these two ports and those external devices. Another thing that O-Ray did was these are powered ports, which means you can plug devices into them and it supplies power to external devices. So a lot of the laptop external drives require external power to be able to run those, you can plug that into the USB-A connections here and know that you've got enough power to spin up those drives. And the last thing I'll mention is the USB-C connection on the end. A lot of these hubs have a pass-through for USB-C, so you can actually power the laptop, but they're smaller. They might be 40 watts or 60 watts, which is okay for charging your laptop and operating your laptop, but it's not enough current to actually supply external power to the USB-A connections that are on those hubs. So the fact that this can support up to 100 watts of PD external power coming in through the USB-C means you can charge your laptop, you can operate your laptop, as well as provide plenty of power for both of the USB-A connections. So in general, I think O-Ray's really thought about what I'm going to do with the hub and it does everything I need it to do, but they built in all those extra features that I talked about, which again, a lot of the other hub manufacturers don't really talk about on their website, and here you've got them all built into the hub. So I think if you're looking for a way to expand a single USB-C connection into some external connections for a monitor or USB-As, this is the perfect hub to go with. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I hope you found this clip helpful. I love talking about technology like this, especially things that I use all the time in my daily life, and this is something that goes with me everywhere. So if you have any questions, please drop those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. If you're interested in this hub, I have a link below as well where you can go to Amazon, you can check it out and compare specifications of this hub versus others. So anyway, thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy! Mm -hmm.